Hey, how y'all doing? 100 videos in 100 days. This is Dan Land Pro, episode 97. And you can find me at youtube.com, Webmaster Dan or Dan Land Pro. Make sure you hit that subscribe and the like button as we continue to bring you these videos. Look, today I spent some time in uh, Iara, and I kind of shared that on my social media. I had something going on with my knee. It was pretty bad. And you know I always preach that health as well. Just like I preach these 100 videos in 100 days, you got to be resilient and... Uh, tenacious because you run into obstacles and adversity no matter what your goals are, how big or small. And today I really didn't think I was going to complete these 100 videos in 100 days because I was pretty concerned about my knee. Uh, I was cutting grass uh, yesterday and then I took a, a slight bike ride out in the uh, Forest Preserve and I remember sitting on one of those little picnic tables or wooden picnic tables so I don't know in the process of those two processes they think I may have get gotten bitten by a spider of some kind and uh, some of the some of the uh, visuals of my knee was uh, had everybody pretty baffled and had me pretty uh, scared and that's something I want to share I mean man when you get something and you really uh, worried about it don't self-diagnose don't go on on uh, social media looking up different stuff on social media to diagnose whatever the symptoms are. Because when I finished, man, I had a, what they call a, I thought I had a baker cyst, then I had a tumor, then I had a, a knee ulcer, then I had a, a <laughs> you wind up, man, with so many different things. I, 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 when it was over with, my liver was bad, my kidneys was bad, my heart was bad. Man, I had so much. When it was over with, I had about 20, I had about 20 minutes to live. But anyway, the bottom line is, man, eventually, man, I, I had to go to ER, and I don't really like to go to, I go to the doctor, but I don't like to go to the hospital. It got, I got to really be, I got to really be hurt and go to the hospital. But if you saw the sight of my, the discoloration of my, my knee and some of the swelling, then it was, it was time to go see what's going on because I thought I had a blood clot as well. Well, anyway, everything pretty much checked out, but they was pretty concerned, man, because they couldn't really pinpoint what was going on there. And although prior to this, my knee was already giving me a little uh, bother as far as aging, so I figured it was a little arthritis or something. Uh, but, you know, I enjoy walking and bike riding, and cutting grass, stuff like that, but something uh, uh, bit me, so they pretty much tended to me pretty well. But here's the reason I, I want to talk about healthcare today. First of all, I always uh, appreciate the blessing to have healthcare, to be able to go to the EAR and uh, say that I got this problem and not have any problems. And I've always felt that way about my family to provide healthcare where they could never go to the doctor no matter where I was and be refused uh, attention. But to see the type of work that they do in the ER, and I know we can have our complaints because I was pretty patient about the time I was there. And you know, you get little chills and you get a little cold, so you gotta take a sweater or whatever. Uh, and you don't know how long they're gonna be, so it's a little frustrating. But at the same time, when you look at that, man, it's a constant turnover of patience. When you leave, somebody else comes. I mean, it's just like a constant where it's just like everything is busy. And those people are holding their own, man. So I can imagine during the pandemic how that had to be in that environment because now we're pretty much stable, everything pretty much regular. You still had to have a mass thing going on, and you know they're trying to they're trying to figure everything out, help you, and they was really really nice. So I just want to say, man, the healthcare industry, uh, with all of the stress and strain on it uh, currently, and in these past few months, I'm pretty sure that had to be an experience for people in that particular uh, field, uh, in in that particular uh, job. So I would appreciate everything they did for me today. They got everything stabilized, gave me some comfort, uh, pretty much gave me something to relax about. Uh, they assured me that I won't be doing some of the things that I wish I could have did this week as far as my knee go, because that's pretty much off the table, uh, because it was pretty bad, man. I'm not gonna give you no visuals or nothing. I'm just gonna tell you <laughs> my knee was pretty swollen and discolored. In fact, it looked like it had been burned and how it felt like a burn and it still feel that way. It's pretty soothing right now. But the idea that it actually feel like it was, my knee feel like it was in a, like it was set ablaze, like, like, a, like it was set on fire and the swelling was so bad. So, you know, like I said, when you start getting a certain age, you have those fears. But the healthcare industry, you know, I study uh, 
healthcare administration a couple of a couple of months ago, and I had already had some kind of uh, uh, view on some of the ins and outs of healthcare, and it's pretty it's it's a pretty uh, uh, di- I, I won't say diverse I say controversial uh, environment as far as the administrative part and then the the part where they where they tend to people or they have to treat people a certain way. So I already understand the politics behind healthcare and some of the things dealing with finances, hospitals, et cetera, et cetera, administration. But it's the actual application that I was sitting there witnessing from the smallest baby who had been there from what one lady was saying, five and a half hours to the most elderly who you might see sitting over to the side with a love or family member in a wheelchair waiting to be uh, attended to. So it's just a, it's just a, something to see and walking out of there with the confidence that now I feel much better than I feel coming in. <laughs> you understand? Uh, it's, it's a, it's, I just want to say thank you to the healthcare uh, system and hopefully they'll continue to provide that type of service to people. I hope my knee continue to heal. And I hope with God blesses, I continue to do my 100 videos in 100 days. I only got three videos left after this episode. And then I have other things planned down the road. Like I always say, if it's God's will, it will be done. So uh, I want to thank all those who hit my Facebook page and social media, wishing me well. I appreciate it. And I also got other good news, but I'm going to let that come to light as it unfolds. But I got some more good news from, from out of town as far as uh, 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 something going on there. And then I talked with an old friend about helping me resolve that matter. So it's just so much that went on today that let me know, man, that life is grand. We got to appreciate life. We got to appreciate health, no matter what age we are. And I always say health is wealth. So today, <laughs> I was pretty concerned about both health and wealth. And I hope my knee continue to heal. So again, thank you to the healthcare system. Hope you appreciate this episode. If you're not looking out for your health, <clears throat> look out for your health. Don't go on social media self-diagnosing like me, but because I'm just that kind of person. I do go to the doctor and get checkups. Uh, make sure you tend to whatever it is and don't just say or think it's gonna go away. And like they told me, my knee wouldn't have, it, it wouldn't have got any better. It was good that I came to the to the ER because it would have got worse. Yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna wait till Monday. I'm gonna make an appointment. You know how we get, especially us men. I'm on you. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. My knee hurt before. You know, you come up with all excuses. So I'm glad I had a loved one to convince me. You need to go see what that is. You need to go see about that because that is, that's not something that you put off because that could be anything. And uh, hopefully, uh, as it continues to unfold and get better and develop. I hope it's just what it is. I hope something bit me and that, that's the end of it. Say, keep me in your prayers because you'll sure be in mine. Hey, I'm Dale Land Pro. You can find me at YouTube.com, Webmaster Dan or Dale Land Pro. Hit that subscribe and like button and continue to live excited. Peace.